Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the fool and this is aquarius energy so this is a card of a new beginning this is a card of like wiping the slate clean feeling free and optimistic about a new journey let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ten of swords air energy the ace of cups water energy and the eight of pentacles earth energy it looks like there's something that did come to an end in the past and the ten of swords is like a, a very bad breakup very painful ending it could have even been some sort of betrayal um but it's like the worst that could happen happened and there's only uh, you can only go up from here because we are also seeing the full so it's someone you could be coming in here or that you guys are wiping the stay clean but there's a new beginning in love with the eight of cup the ace of cups um this is a card of you know a, a, some sort someone extending their heart um this could even be a self-love journey you know it could also be that you're connecting with someone completely new they could be foreign or just different than usual type um, but there's also an energy here of loving yourself that that message is heavy here with the eight of pentacles it's like you're working on yourself that's that self-improvement self-development really prioritizing your own well-being and your responsibilities you could also be focusing more on practical matters as well but love is is finding you in the midst of this so let's clarify these cards leo Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands via Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So again, a kind of a passionate new beginning here. Let's see. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Ace of, I mean the Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Eight of Cups, Water Energy. So there was something that ended here, something you walked away from, and you really proved to yourself that you respect yourself it's like you sense out this message a self-love kind of message and you could have been embarking on that kind of journey where you are pouring into your cup you're prioritizing yourself bettering yourself emotionally spiritually even practically there's just this feeling of really taking care of yourself becoming a better version of yourself and becoming a vibrational match to your ideal type of partner your ideal kind of love because at the start it looks like you're attracting a real love like a, a high quality love you know something that you genuinely have been wishing for okay so i'm gonna pull out a oracle card for you uh leo okay we have it's time to release negativity Full moon in Scorpio. So it's like this Ten of Swords thing is like you're moving on from that. You're releasing that. Let's see. Okay, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And we have the full it's like some, someone new is coming in, someone different. Okay, so let's see. Okay, 
that we have always joyful. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. Okay, so it looks like you're moving towards a really happy period in your love life. So I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Leo. two cards we have surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you then we have belief surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.